National Congress, and that is none other than the most popular Figile Mbalula. Uh, and uh, uh, I want to discuss specifically uh, the issues that he touched regarding Zimbabwe. Uh, and it is fundamentally important, even though he initially started by saying he would not be responding uh, to issues raised by Ipo Mandaza. Uh, he decided to, to, to actually respond, uh, ironically. Uh, maybe he didn't realize that he, he responded. Of course, he didn't get into the crust of the, the matter. Maybe the reason why he avoided uh, responding to, 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 to allegations which were made by uh, Professor Ipo Mandaza, maybe he understood that it, it was the truth. Uh, which was definitely hard uh, to defend. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Tony Panning Movie Music TV. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we beam live, guess what? You become the first one uh, to watch us. So Figile Mbalula uh, addressed the, 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 the press conference recently, and I want to specifically focus on issues surrounding uh, Zimbabwe. You remember uh, initially, Ipo Man was actually stopped from uh, conducting his lecture at the Oaratambo uh, school and uh uh, because citing that uh, the African National Congress, obviously a delegation led by the Secretary General of the African National Congress, uh, that is Figile Mbalula, was engaged into some form of discussions with ZANU PF. So allowing Ipo Mandaza to go on with the lecture would somewhere somehow sabotage uh, the, the, the discussion that the African National Congress was engaged on uh, with ZANU PF. So it was stopped for the first time, but it eventually uh, kicked uh, on. And what we learned from that press statement is that uh, the man who, who actually arranged the, 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 the lecture of uh, Dr. Ipo Mandaza, uh, that man has been removed from uh, his post and he was actually replaced by uh, David Makura. Uh, and although Figile Mbalula indicated that his removal was not linked uh, with him inviting uh, Ipo Mandaza, someone who is known to be critical uh, to the government of Zimbabwe, that is led by the coup regime leader, Emerson Dambuzo uh, Mnangagwa. And also he stated that uh, he said he didn't want to respond, but he ended up responding, giving us uh, some, some picture. At some point, uh, he said we can't allow uh, some dissidents uh, to come and uh, lecture us here we would uh, tolerate a, a seminar uh, and he said we can't allow one-sided uh, individuals who come uh, to south africa to criticize zanu pf uh, at in uh, while zanu pf is not there i think basically this is the point uh, that he was uh, making uh, regarding uh, what uh, i'm regarding ipo mandaza and he decided to not to respond especially on the allegations that were raised the role played by the likes of former president of South Africa, uh, Thabo Mbegi. Uh, and also what came out sharply, I, I think I, I will come to, to also analyzing uh, his statements. For example, uh, relegating members of opposition or, uh, I mean, scholars uh, speaking about the crisis in Zimbabwe as dissident. I think that word uh, got, got me uh, very, very worried uh, coming from the, the Secretary of the African uh, National Congress, uh, labeling uh, an individual who is critical of the government as a dissident. That, dis that term dissident, particularly from an individual like me who come from Matipeleland, it reminds me of uh, the Kukuraunde genocide, which was implemented by ZANU-PF uh, from 1980 to 1987, whereby more than 100,000 people from Matepeleland uh, perished. So when I hear that word uh, coming from a politician uh, from South Africa, and also look at how South Africa actually decided to suppress that matter, uh, it, it gets me worried. Uh, so one of the points that he indicated, Figile Mbalula, is that uh, he is not after suppressing anybody, but actually Ipo Mandaza's uh, 
event was suppressed. Uh, the, the, the initial event, the, the first, I mean, first time he was stopped. Uh, and and uh, that might have actually uh, disturbed the whole thing because uh, the first time event uh, was perfectly timed. Uh, and the, 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 the second one, it, it might have been manipulated considering the fact uh, that it was not, uh, at the attendance wasn't uh, good. Uh, it may have been frustrated by the, the African National Congress uh, for us to be getting the pictures that uh, we were getting. And that uh, lecture was fundamentally important uh, because it exposed uh, the African National Congress relationship that exists uh, with ZANU-PF. And obviously, uh, whatever was discussed there and uh, how uh, the African National Congress was exposed by uh, Dr. Ipo Mandaza, we, we, we can't expect the likes of Figil and Balula uh, actually to be happy about that. So by merely deciding not to answer some of the critical questions raised by journalists, I think it makes uh, whatever was said by Dr. Ipo Mandaza uh, to be the truth. Uh, that is in the, he missed an opportunity to clarify uh, major points, particularly on their Atoji uh, relationship uh, with ZANU PF, especially this African uh, National Congress. What has come uh, into light? specifically uh, by the men at the center of the leadership of the African National Congress and uh, viewed and perceived from the outside world as actually a, a, a key and a strategic member of the African National Congress. Him uh, celebrating the victory of ZANU-PF, understanding that there was a static observer mission report, a preliminary one with damning findings, and also the final one with damning findings was very, very unfortunate. I think the integrity of the African National Congress uh, was actually attained, particularly on the the international uh, scale. And the further he, he went on, uh, specifically, we know that uh, at the moment when you are talking about illegal migrants, you are referring mainly to, to Zimbabweans. Uh, Zimbabweans who are running from the regime of Emerson Dambuzum Nangawa, the same regime that is supported uh, by the African National Congress, uh, the same uh, regime that is actually dealing with some of the cronies within the African uh, National Congress. Uh, he, re he reiterated the point that they were going to keep on uh, fighting against the innocent civilians from Zimbabwe. Uh, obviously, at the end of it all, uh, politicians, uh, they, are, they, 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 they become reckless. And that recklessness, in terms of what they say, and also in terms of what they implement, it affects, at the end of the day, the innocent uh, civilians. Uh, that is the matter. So uh, it, 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 it is stance on, on, on actually Zimbabweans who are seeking refugee on South Africa is actually uh, still the same. So we have got an African National Congress that uh, enjoys manipulating the current situation uh, in Zimbabwe economically and not prepared actually to help the people of Zimbabwe. In fact, what, what is in their interest is to continually keep and sustain uh, ZANU-PF in power. Uh, this is what we, we have learned, especially from this uh, African National Congress. This is their uh, position. Uh, but uh, it, it was scary the way, uh, actually, Figile Mbalula uh, portrayed uh, Dr. Ibo Mandaza, uh, uh, said, uh, we will not allow dissidents. Uh, we will not allow individuals uh, who come here uh, to, to, to present a one-sided opinion because they hate uh, ZANU-PF. That is what he said. Uh, so, so indicating his fame stance uh, in terms of standing uh, with the ZANU-PF uh, in the matter of Zimbabwe, regardless of what uh, ZANU-PF does to the
uh, of Zimbabwe. And this posture of the African National Congress, it makes it an incompetent organization in terms of actually dealing uh, with conflicts, just like their stance uh, regarding the Israeli-Palestine uh, conflict. They have already taken a position. Ironically, these same uh, individuals also unveil themselves uh, to, 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 to actually be, be peace brokers. Uh, I think you, you can't be a peace peace broker when you are going to, to, to when you, you want to be actually appear to be a neutral uh, body, that, but s having a side, picking a side within the conflict. So this is what exactly they are doing uh, in Zimbabwe. They tout that ZANU-PF is their ally. And at the same time, they, they, they unveil themselves as actually a, a peace broker between the opposition in Zimbabwe as well as ZANU-PF. I think that is the highest level uh, of hypocrisy because if you want to be a peace broker or if you want to, 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 to be a negotiator of peace, then you should be seen a uh, neutral. You shouldn't be seen taking a side. I can't uh, go uh, into Middle East uh, take a side, say, I, I'm taking a firm position uh, to support uh, so-and-so and, -so and uh, hate uh, so-and-so, but at the same time you say, I, I, I want a peace in that region uh, and I'm, I'm unveiling myself uh, to, to, to actually lead uh, to a settlement that will pave way for, for peace. I think that is hypocrisy uh, at its highest level uh, because you, you can't say uh, you, 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 you can't choose a site. For example, in Zimbabwe, ANC have chosen a site. In the Israel-Palestine conflict, they have chosen a site, unveiling themselves, even with the conflict that is happening in Ukraine, uh, ANC is an ally of Russia. So the, you, you, you can't expect them to be seen betraying their allies. And, and at the same time, what is ironic about all of this whole situation uh, is that they, they want to be the mediators of peace. What kind of hypocrisy is that? Thank you very much for watching us. Uh, if you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we be live, guess what? You become the first one to watch us. We have analysis.